Okay, I am just uh, finishing my work day and I uh, wanted to make a video about capacitors. So I had two capacitors in one day where both of them failed. And uh, this is one was on a heat pump. And this one was on a uh, blower motor, two separate jobs. And uh, the reason capacitors fail is they fail from uh, excessive uh, heat, internal heat. You can see this one is bloated. See that right there? Look at it sideways. You can see it is a little bit bloated on the front there. See that? So I didn't even bother testing this when I saw it was bloated. I just uh, went ahead and replaced it, and uh, the blower came on just fine. So this one is rated at 10 microfarads. It's measuring zero. It's definitely bad. I replaced it with the same one. Uh, this one is, of course, made in China, uh, Titan Pro. Uh, I'd recommend replacing it with the Titan Pro HD. Those are made in USA. And uh, this capacitor, it was a little bit of an odd value, 70 and 7.5 seven and microfarads. Uh, I think this one's made in China, too. It doesn't say, but if you uh, were to measure this one, Pretty much nothing so this one is bad too even though it's not bloated nothing like that so if your capacitor is uh if it's hot out typically capacitors fail when it's hot out i mean my car is showing focus 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 99 degrees but it's more like 95 out so this uh this is a multimeter this measures microfarads uh, you can, you're gonna have to get this specific one. This one's very expensive. You can get one on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Check your capacitor, see if it's getting low. Low capacitors do fail quicker than uh, good capacitors. Um, the one I installed on that second one was uh, this one right here, the Turbo 200X. This one is, uh, it's a little bit pricey, but it is American made and they have a five year warranty on it. So we've had very good success with these capacitors by this company. Um, so I'd recommend either getting one of these or seeing made in USA. I'd recommend getting a USA made capacitor. So just make sure you match up the microfarad rating and the voltage. We're gonna put that capacitor. So make sure the microfarad rating matches 70 and seven and a half like on this one. And this one is a 440 volt AC. If yours is rated at 370 volts, it's okay to up, up up the voltage to 440, just you can't go down. So you couldn't install a 330 volt AC uh, on this one. You can see this one, it says castor oil. So these are oil filled. And when, the, when it gets hot out and there's poor heat dissipation, the oil thins out and it can uh, deteriorate and it can bloat the capacitor, it can leak out. So if your capacitor is leaking oil, definitely replace it. So. That's why your AC probably stopped working if the after unit, uh, the compressor just hums for a second and then shuts off. It's shutting off on thermal overload, it's overheating. Same thing on your fan on the inside, on your furnace. If that's just making a humming noise whenever it turns on and it's, never, it's not blowing any air out, then you probably have a weak capacitor. So hopefully this helps and uh, leave a comment down below if you have questions. Also, if uh, you don't properly secure the capacitor if it's not firmly you know secured inside the unit um properly strapped and it's not loose then it can have poor heat dissipation properly strapping it making sure that strap is metal strap is nice and tight uh will help with heat dissipation as well if you find if you open up your unit and you find that the capacitor is still in the box that's definitely a big no-no that's gonna have very poor heat dissipation that capacitor is gonna have a shortened life on it as well so definitely take that out of the box get that metal strap strap it if you don't have if it doesn't if the new capacitor is a different size and it doesn't fit that existing metal strap they do have a uh, a plump a plumber strap they have it for sale it's, a, it's on a roll just use that put a screw in one end you know stretch it tight you know put the other screw in and uh, make it work make sure the capacitor is snug I just wanted to throw that out there because sometimes you see capacitors are loose you know those capacitors have to have 
good contact with that metal that helps with heat dissipation so if it's in the box that's a def definite red flag you need to take it out of that box you can't be insulating that you need it to breathe you do need it to have heat dissipation so poor heat dissipation causes capacitor failure so especially if it's strapped like on a like on a furnace if it's on that if you have an inducer motor on a gas furnace and that inducer motor tends to run hot that's definitely gonna shorten the life of the capacitor i've seen that and uh, the capacitor, those capacitors tend to leak oil. So if your capacitor on your inducer motor is leaking oil, you know, touch that inducer motor while it's running. It's probably gonna be extremely hot to the touch. You wanna isolate that from that motor. In that case, you wanna isolate it from the motor because that's a heat source. You wanna strap it to something that's not as hot. You know, you wanna keep it away from that. So just something to consider, heat dissipation, and um, hopefully that helps. Uh,